Hi Ben here, Amateur Radio Callsign M7FRS and in this video I'm going to be doing a comparison of the modded versus unmodded Quansheng UV5R Pluses. So I've got three Quansheng UV5R Pluses, one's been unmodified, one has got the Generation 1 board, the little green HF mod board, and then the last one here has got the brown HF mod board which has got the additional audio amplifier on it. So that all three of these are running CEC version 0.5 HF firmware. The one that hasn't been modified obviously won't work in HF mode, and I've seen some people have... Um, said they're having problems with their modified radios putting them into HF mode and uh, if I show you what happens if you've not got a connection properly or you haven't even got the board installed uh, if you press and hold the FM button you'll get the wait sign come up and uh, it'll just stay on the screen uh, for obvious reasons that it's, uh, it's not in, the board's not installed but if the board's not installed properly or you haven't got uh, correct connections I believe that is some of the problems people are getting so um, yeah obviously It'll run the firmware, but it won't actually go into the uh, the FM mode there. And as far as I can see, there's no way of clearing that other than uh, switching the radio off and then uh, back on again. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate what these sound like on FTA on 17 meters. So the frequency is 18.100 megahertz. So for all these tests, I'm going to remove the VHF UHF stock antennas, and then I'm going to use the SMA to SO239 adapter and we'll plug in my NFED long wire and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. So first of all you can see on the unmodified UV5R Plus that we've got fairly weak signal. You can hear the FT8 is there uh, but it's not the best and 18 megahertz is the lowest we can go on the unmodified uh, radio so the, the signal's not all that great uh, as the frequencies get this low. But like I say, we do have uh, a good, decent amount of uh, volume control should we need it. So I've switched over to the radio with the first edition of the modification board, which is the green uh, HF mod board. And that was full volume, so you could see we had uh, much better signal strength on that one. Uh, but that was volume up as far as it will go, it won't go any further. So obviously we can hear it, but um, it's not as loud as, uh, as it ought to be. And thirdly then, I've switched over to the Quansheng with the second generation board, which has got the audio amplifier as well. So you could hear that was uh, full volume. And uh, it's quite considerably louder than the uh, the first generation. I don't know if it shows up all that well. You can hear it all that well in the video, but uh, yeah, this one's definitely got much better uh, uh, or much louder audio anyway. Another thing I've noticed with this one that's got the second generation board uh, installed is the frequency seems a little bit off as well in certain places. So although I've got it on eighteen one hundred, I've had to drop the uh, the BFO right down to minus two hundred. Uh, sometimes I need to even drop it down a kilohertz. It almost seems like a, a one kilohertz out in certain places. But we'll do a few tests on there uh, on other frequencies uh, just for comparison. One zero eight Alpha Unifor. Big one, big one. Happy evening. Uh, one zero eight Alpha Unifor. This is Operator Frank in Barcelona. Listen to your signal over nine. Radio nine Santiago nine. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, ciao. 
So I thought for a slightly more accurate test, I'd use the Tiny SA in signal generation mode uh, on the same frequency. So it's in AM and it's on 18.100 megahertz and uh, it's going straight into the uh, unmodified Quansheng at the moment and I'll set the level at minus 76 decibels and you can see we're an S2 and there is uh, a signal there with a little bit of smooth noise so we'll set the volume back there and then we'll just slowly increase a decibel at a time So we're S3 at about minus 72 decibels and then uh, let's just up it by 10 so 61 you can hear we're, um, we're an S4 at uh, 61 decibels And then at minus 50 decibels, uh, we're getting an S6 signal. So we'll up it by another 10. And then minus 40 dB, we've got a, an S9 signal there. And then plus 20 dB at uh, minus 30 dB. Let's try it on the UV5R Plus with the version 1 modification board. Okay, so the same test. So let's put this into AM. So I'm going to press and hold the function button and it's now in AM mode and we'll start the test again at minus 76 decibels and you can see already that we've got an S9 signal on there so the uh, the version 1 board is obviously very sensitive when it comes to uh, signal because I say I can't drop this down any lower without putting some attenuation in and um, already we've got S9 and um, there's no noise there whatsoever so let's increase it by 10 so uh, minus 66 dB you can see S9 plus and that's uh, definitely a good signal there so at minus 56 decibels um, the S meter won't go up any higher so that's, let's say, that's the, uh, the version 1 and we can turn the volume up and you can hear that's uh, that's full volume there. So let's turn that off, and we'll do the same test again on the version two board uh, modification radio. So second generation mod in this one, which, like I say, is the little brown board with the audio amplifier. We're again in AM mode, and let's put the signal generator on at minus 76 decibels. And um, it's not as sensitive as the first generation, nowhere near, say like minus 76, and uh, there's nothing showing. You can hear the signal there, but it's, uh, it's definitely not as sensitive. So that's uh, increased by 10 decibels. Minus 66, we're getting an S3. Minus 56, we're getting an S4. S6 at minus 46. S9 at minus 36 dB and then S9 plus at minus 26 and if we just go one more to minus 16 there we go we get an S9 plus and uh, we've we've filled the uh, the S meter up there so uh, yeah let's just try the uh, volume as well and I don't know how well my camera's picking up but that's really loud and that's going to hurt my ears if I go any more than about three quarter more than about uh, <laughs> half a turn on the volume control so uh, yeah really really loud audio on there on this one but like I say it doesn't seem quite as, uh, as sensitive so there you go that's a little demonstration of the UV5R plus and how it performs either unmodified or with the uh, one of the two modification boards I'm um, all these are running standard uh, antenna connections as you can see but the uh, second generation board obviously you can put a uh, an external antenna in so uh, I've bought a couple of these little uh, SMA um, sockets which uh, may well fit with the uh, in where the LED goes so uh, stay tuned hit the old like and subscribe and then uh, hopefully in a future video we'll have a go at fitting the um, uh, the little SMA connector within the casing and it's just got a really fine thin piece of coax as well attached to that which will uh, remove the uh, 
a little capacitor in there and put in place there so we'll uh, we'll try that out as well at some point so uh, like i say hope that's been uh, an interesting video uh, please like subscribe leave us a comment and uh, we'll see you on the next one seven three